15 days are left for the NEET examination and you have also filled the form of ISER aptitude test IAT exam that will be conducted on 25th of May. Only one month is remaining for IAT exam and in that you have to also manage your NEET preparation. So how you will do that? There are major differences in the exam pattern and in the approach with which you give the NEET examination compared to the IAT examination. So in this video, we will get into the full detail about NEET versus IAT preparation. By the end of this video, I will make sure you ace both of these examination and you understand all the major differences. So when you sit on your chair and table to prepare for NEET and IAT examination, you care about all these differences and you have that solution approach to cater and get the best possible mark. everyone, I am Akhil Dripati, a Nizer alumnus and from last 4 years we are helping thousands of students to get into ISERS and personally I have been to your place once being a NEET aspirant I understand all the challenges a NEET aspirant faces when they prepare for exams like IAT and NESH. So on 4th of May you have your NEET examination and on 25th of May you have your IAT examination. This May month is going to be one of the most crucial months of your life that will decide in which dream institute you land off. We will see the differences between NEET and IAT examination. The first major difference is in NEET you have to only attend PCB Physics, Chemistry and Biology but in IAT you have to attempt PCMB Physics, Chemistry, Math and Biology all four subjects combined. Please note the difference it is not mandatory to attempt all these four subjects but the cumulative score what you get in all these four subjects that will be counted for your IAT scorecard and on the basis of which you will get into ISC Bangalore, ISERS and IIT Madras BS courses. In past years, the competition in both of these examinations is increasing year by year. The need cutoffs have been skyrocketing and applications in IAT exam is increasing every year. This year, as per the estimation, the registration have even cross the last year number that was close to 97,000. We are expecting more than 1.5 lakh registration this year in IIT examination. So the importance of fourth subject is also increasing in IIT examination because if you are a PCB or PCM student and you only attempt these three subjects, in total the IIT exam is of 240 marks and you can only score 180 marks but a student who will be having the four subject let's say for a PCB student when we are talking about NEET aspirant they cannot attempt math paper and they will be only scoring about 180 marks even if they correct all the questions of PCB correct but for ISC you need a score about 210 for Iser Pune, you need a score more than 160 marks. Similarly, for IIT Madras, you also need a score more than 180 marks. So it will not be possible for a NEET aspirant to do all these things without mathematics. But at this moment, when your NEET examination is just 15 days away, I will not recommend you to focus on mathematics. In Sayastra, we will be helping you in preparing the mathematics section after the NEET examination. So you can rely on us. In past four years, we have been helping non-math students to get good marks in mathematics by doing the EG chapters in the last moment. In this video, we will primarily focus on physics, chemistry and biology part that will be common for your NEET and IIT preparation and we will make sure you optimize all these three subjects to get best score in your IIT examination and you do pretty well in your NEET examination. So let's discuss subject wise. In biology, your NCRT almost comprises of the question that have been asked 
in the IIT examination. So NCERT covers almost 100% of your IIT and NEET preparation. If you study NCERT line by line and you follow good one shot revision lecture, you will do pretty good in both IIT and NEST examination. The difficulty level of IIT examination is harder than NEET examination. NEET is all about question solving with high accuracy. The factual questions are more asked in NEET examination than the IIT exam. If you will compare the 15 questions that are being asked in IIT exam, you will find 10 of these questions to be of easy to moderate difficulty level and comparable with the NEET examination. But about 5 questions you will find of much higher difficulty level than the NEET examination. So scoring 40 marks out of the 60 marks in IIT examination in biology section is easy for an average NEET aspirant. But scoring 60 out of 60 marks, you need to cater to the difficult level of questions and sometimes one two questions you will find out of NCRT in these difficult questions. So over the years, the out of NCRT questions in biology in IIT exam have decreased, but there can be one or two questions out of NCRT in IIT exam but it is very rare to find that in NEET examination. So a NEET preparation of biology alongside solving some extra questions, solving through some extra materials after the NEET examination will be preferred for a NEET aspirant to attempt the biology section in both of these examinations. Here there are only 15 questions in the biology section. So you have more time than compared to the NEET examination where you have to attempt 90 questions. In total in NEET examination you have to attempt 180 questions in 3 hours. In IIT you have to only attempt 60 questions, 15 each of PCMB in the 3 hours of paper. And the good part is that biology is the most scoring section, is the most scoring section in both NEET and IIT examination. So prepare your biology as per the NEET till 4th of May and take the help of Syastra free resources and if you are in our courses to ace those extra 5 questions and get 60 out of 60 correct in IIT examination. Now let's come to the chemistry part. In chemistry you will find 60 to 70 percent question being asked following the NCIT. Here you need not to do NCIT line by line. Many of the questions are being asked out of NCIT and the difficulty level and the difficulty level goes higher than NCRT. The difficulty level of chemistry in ISER aptitude test is even more difficult than biology section. You will find the IIT paper to be as per the level of J mains but the NEET examination paper the questions are asked direct and the mechanism part, the conceptual understanding part is less than compared to IIT examination. So you will find the NEET chemistry paper more scoring than the IIT paper. The number of questions in IIT will be 15 questions but in NEET it will be 45 questions. So there will be one sentence, two sentence questions more in NEET compared to IIT. Here you will need to understand the concept. You need to do the mechanism part more rigorously to score good in the chemistry part. So what we will recommend is to solve NCRT and slightly higher level problems in chemistry along with your NEET preparation and once you are done with the need you can focus on the lectures that are being conducted free of course in YouTube and in Syasta courses to nurse this 30 to 40 percent gap in NCRT and you will be very good place to attend the chemistry people of IIT to be of the best level. I have been a NEET aspirant and I know how much 
biology people need aspirant hate physics for many of the students physics is just a nightmare and you find it very difficult to even solve the neat level problems and here in the iit the problems will be even much much more difficult in iser aptitude test the level of iser aptitude test physics paper goes many a times beyond even the je mains level last year paper of 2024 was one of the toughest paper in iit history the number of questions being asked covering the ncert level is only 20 to 30% so you will see the decreasing trend of ncert when you go from biology to chemistry to physics paper and the difficulty level as i told you is much much higher than neat level so you will find it very difficult for attempting the iit paper especially the physics paper in the examination so you have to prepare very rigorously for the physics paper because for all the pcb students they will be already leaving the math section and that will make the chances for them to getting any iser very difficult if they will not focus on the physics section so i will recommend all of you to focus more seriously on the physics part and make your neat physics to the best level possible so that you can attempt even the iit level sums and in that rigorous question solving will help you in iit the questions will not be directly asked from the formulas like there will be multiple concepts involved in solving a single sum you will find many of the neat physics question to be directly linked to a given formula if you remember that formula apply put the values you get the answer but you will find very difficult to getting such type of questions in the physics paper so what we will recommend you to solve more difficult level of problems to work seriously on your physics part if you will develop your physics understanding to the level of iit neat will be a cake walk for you and you will do pretty well in your neat examination so try to do higher level physics sum revise through question to theory approach in physics in this last moment you can rely on all the iit pyqs you can rely on all the free mock test in saestra and if you are in our courses you can get access to all the dpps all the mock test all the things that we are helping you from last one month to make your physics and chemistry and biology understanding so that you can ace in the iit examination if we will compare our, our dpps the neat difficulty level is of dpp 1 level in saestra we have four level of dpps in physics and the neat is level 1 the iit is of level 3 we prepare you for level four that is the next examination so when you will develop your understanding to solve these level 4 dpps following the mentors you will easily solve the level 3 and level 1 will be a fun game for you so this was all the major differences you will find between neat and iit examination in mathematics we will not recommend you to start right now because very less time is remaining for neat examination and your math preparation in neat will not help you in any way because it is not going to be asked in any manner so after 4th of may we will sit down and first you have to do watch this video that our math mentor have prepared so what you have to focus on for your math preparation we will solve all these questions we will do the theory that you can cover in the last moment and you can do some question correct in mathematics and you can bridge this gap of having only three subject you can have an extra as of attending the four subject and you can do pretty well in your iser aptitude test preparation so we wish you all the best for your neat examination and along with neat 
please follow all these instructions that i told you for different subjects and your iit preparation will be also going smooth side by side without ignoring your need preparation with that this is akhil tripathi signing off jai hind